My name's Molly, and I'm going to be contestant in the 28th Annual Cardboard Cutout Competition. I'm really excited, and I've been training for years for this. So I'm going to show you a photo of me. That's me at prom. It's one of my cardboard cutouts. His name was Davey. He was pretty nice. Once I tried to make a cardboard cutout of my dog, he peed on it. Sorry about the mess, but I'm working on several different projects right now, and I'm actually, um, I'm allowed to show you the entry I'm making for this contest. I checked in the rules, and uh, you're going to see me be able to make it, so I'm really excited for that. We got uh, some supplies over here, the drawer if you want. And I'm going to show you the cardboard I'm using for the contest. It's, it's usually all recycled cardboard, so right now I just found this in a dumpster. Uh, dumpster diving is actually a really big part of the process. This is the dumpster that uh, is a really big one. This is the one I usually use whenever I'm looking for cardboard and other pieces. But right now, as you can see, it is very dangerous to go inside. That's why we're going to travel over to this dumpster over here. This is the one. <laughs> All right. We got some good specimen in here. Part of me thinks I should be really worried about, you know, going to this contest. And even though I've been like practicing for years and learning so much and just like following after the people I think are really good and are like huge inspirations in the cardboard cutout world, I just, I just don't know. I'm not, I'm not that worried at all. Um, even though I do think there's going to be some stiff competition. It can be really terrifying to live in a time where everything is constantly in rapid flux because there's a lack of comfort and perpetuity and it's a relentless reminder of your existential impermanence. But most likely, I feel like it's just this freedom because it's an opportunity to, at every single moment, create something that might become a formative part of the future. It's competition day. And, you know, I just keep thinking about how amazing these past few days have been and how I've learned so much. And I just keep thinking that if I could give one piece of advice, it would be that your reality is more malleable than it ever gets credit for. It's incredible how quickly your entire mindset and perceptions of yourself and the world around you can change from mere days ago. You're constantly creating your next day and your future happiness. The thoughts you allow and every action you take establishes patterns of mind and behavior that get rooted very deeply, especially so as young people. It's really important to constantly do without ever really stopping, because you are, at every single moment, paving the paths you'll travel in the future. And that's sort of a lot of pressure, but it also isn't at all, because a malleable reality also means that everything is extremely transient. Your thoughts and feelings now will fade out ten times quickly as they onset. So don't ever worry about any circumstance or any emotion, because so long as you effortlessly let the natural flow of your being progress, nothing bad will stay. <laughs>